see you in the kitchen. Folks, welcome to Hollis and Nancy's Homestead, uh, where our vision is to inspire healthier families throughout the world. Well, today we are making an uh, Asian stuffed squash dish, okay? And it's a great summertime because you could do it in a crock pot, and so you could keep your house cool. Also, you could prep it and just leave it, okay? Also, I took it to work the other day and and to try out the recipe and everything else and my co-workers just loved it. She said as soon as you get it up, she wants the recipe. And also it's been tested by my husband and he got his two cents in and he's got uh, his mushrooms in that he loves, okay? So basically, um, even as a kid, I really loved creating dishes to make my mother and dad smile. And even when my mother owned a restaurant, I would always try out different dishes. So uh, this is what we're gonna uh, make it with. We're gonna get two squashes, okay? So these are uh, patty pan squashes and the saucer squashes. Then we're gonna get a pound of ground beef, half a cup of breadcrumbs, one clove of garlic, one small onion, and one uh, banana peppers. Or if you don't have banana peppers, you could use uh, green peppers. And a handful of mushrooms. You could use portobello or regular. And my dipping sauce, which we already have on the playlist. We're just gonna put two tablespoons inside the mix and you could always add more if you need it. Okay, you're also gonna need one egg with this recipe. That's what we're gonna use. Huh? Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is make a small drain hole. The top piece right there, we're gonna cut it and so we can make a small drain hole and you, you'll know why later. Then you do that, okay? And the second thing we do is we turn around and cut a little bit from the top to make a top. Just go around. That makes a nice top. Then we're gonna go ahead and scoop a lot of these.
came. One egg. I'm going to use two dipping sauces and this is up on our playlist, two tablespoons. Okay, now in my crock pot I really love, um, one of the things I really found that I really enjoy is these um, steamers that you could steam with and you could, uh, uh, you know, this is really good even if you put inside the oven or whatever. Uh, but I love to use this because it's got a little foot so all the juices comes out, all the fat and everything else. And so I like to use this in my crock pot and I'll show you why later. And you can find one at Target. They're about $17. Or you can find it in a discount store. I found this at a discount store for like 10 so another thing I really enjoy um, my husband taught me this he always used this and I thought you know I'll sit there and clean everything but he said it's a lot easier it's a quick mess quick clean and so I started using it and I love it instead of sitting there uh, scrubbing it just makes a quick cleanup so I'm gonna put everything together and stuff everything all right now remember when i made a hole on the bottom the little hole make sure you have a drain hole because i like to get all the fat and everything off cook without it so um, and then i just stuff it with the mixture just put it in here now I don't like anything to go to waste, so, and then just put the tops on there. So whatever is left over, I like to make me a little, like a loaf. And I use that for my lunch. I can make that. side just find somewhere so that way it's not touching the ground but it has a place to and then the secret to this is you're going to set it on high for two hours and low for two hours the reason you do this if you cook it too long the squashes it would taste better so this way you still have a little bit of the crunchiness, but it's not dripping so soggy and bitter. Okay, so um, we got all the squashes out right here. And this is for my lunch. I made a little bag, so I'm going to have some of that for lunch and some rice and more vegetables. Some, it's really good on a hot day. But I wanted to show you kind of like the crock pot and uh, let me put this in the sink okay um, but how much fat and grease and how easy it is to clean up but I got some more straining there but oops but I wanted to show you how much fat and grease that is in there and also there's a little bit here so but yeah that's why if you look at it and that's about how many about two cups one cup that's about one cup but that's with a lot of fat and everything else that could have been in 
your body. So that saves you that. All right, so this the di uh, dinner is prepared. All right, the dinner is prepared, and you're gonna your family's gonna find it delicious, beautiful, and satisfying. And one thing I like to do is use my dipping sauce and just put a little bit. And if you want more, you could do that, but just a little bit too there. And I kind of like it hot, so I'm going to put some peppers, red peppers on there. And Hollis likes it mild. So, okay. So, thank you for watching our videos. Uh, if you like the video, please subscribe to um, our YouTube channel and like it. It really does inspire and encourage us. And, and seek us out on Facebook with all sorts of tips and tricks also. And a, a recipe will be there. Also, share um, um, share with your friends and family, so we can make a healthier family throughout the world. And but sharing our vision to create a healthier family throughout the world and share it. So by His hands we, we are fed. fed. Give, Give us Lord our, our daily, daily bread. bread. Amen. Amen. Have a blessed day. Thanks for watching our videos. We really love making them. If you like our videos, please like our Facebook page to get the latest tips and tricks. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the newest video. Like it. It would really inspire and encourage us. But most importantly, share it to encourage others. We'll welcome your comments and questions. Thank you. Have a blessed day.